one for today's assignment, we are going to be learning about how to add windows, and we discussed doors briefly the last time, but I want to show you where we added some notes. All right, so um, if you guys are in Google um, Classroom, you can see here under the Notes tab, so go to Classwork, Notes, we added how to create layers, which we've already discussed, and we've added um, architectural windows and doors. So if you look at architectural windows and doors, um, this gives you kind of a basic overview of what they look like, different styles. So a basic interior door is what we've already drawn. Extra doors look very, very similar, except they have a line. Basically, okay, so there's no line closing off the doorway. So we are going to be doing interior doors, exterior doors, and bifold doors. Those are exactly line. Those are really super easy. So bifold doors, uh, those are typical classroom, or I'm sorry, not typical classroom, uh, typical um, closet doors. So just like these, hopefully, you know, kind of knows what we're talking about. So we're just drawing a little zigzaggy line on each side. All right, now up here, what we're going to be drawing are horizontal sliding windows. So those are the windows that you would slide either left or right. So you look, it looks like three lines in the middle. So that's what we're going to be drawing. Now, for those of you who have already um, drawn these or maybe used AutoCAD before, I'm sure you realize that there are blocks. You can insert architectural blocks. We are not going to be a block is something that's, that's pre-drawn. So we could go to insert um, and we could insert certain blocks. So and if you had to insert a, a bathtub or a toilet or a sink or doors or windows for that matter, um, we could do that. But we're going to go through and just, uh, draw them by hand. So let's focus on this back bedroom area. We're going to add a couple windows here so you guys know that. We did this door last time so should be able to go back to the previous video and see how we did this door. So we're going to do the windows, um, and then, then we can go back and add some dimensions and some layers later, and I'll show you that later. All right, so let's go back, and so right here, this bedroom, we are from the outside to center, from center to center, so four foot six, outside to center. It's a 303 window, so it's three foot zero inches by three foot zero inches, so uh, we're not going to draw them the way it's drawn here. We're drawing a horizontal sliding window. We have three lines right in the middle. So, four foot six. You can zoom in. Remember, scroll with the middle button of the mouse. So, we are going four foot, six inches. Okay, now that represents the middle of the window. I'm going to offset it, so half of three foot is 18 inches. Now I'm going to leave this midline just for a second here. And go back. And we are three foot two to the center of the next window. So we can offset three foot two inches. Now we'll offset our 18 inches. Okay. Escape. Delete. Delete. You trim. Click on the line you want to cut to. All right, so now we have the basic sides of our windows drawn. We still need to get our three lines in the middle. So what we can do for that, um, we can keep them in the middle, but I just space them out evenly since we know hopefully this is six inches wide. Right, add intersection on, and we should have the nearest. Or I was at a little angle. Alright, so six. So what we'll do here is we'll hit offset, we'll just go two. Up one. Up one. Um, and then we can put offset one. 
there's our three lines. So I offset two inches in here, two inches in here, and then one inch in the middle. So we have two inches, one inch, one inch, two inches. So hopefully you guys kind of see what we're talking about. There. So go back and trim to here. Enter. You just hit enter again. Everything's cutting edge. So there's our windows. We have the ends and then three lines located in the middle. Again, we use the offset tool to go two inches down and then two inches over to here. So then we have our even two, two, and two. We offset one inch in the middle. So your gaps are two inches, one inch, one inch, two inches. We got our widths, okay, from center point to center point, and then overall width of the window from our print right here. These distances from here to the center, four foot six, and then from center to center, three foot two. The width of the window was three oh by three oh, so three foot wide, three foot wide, three foot zero inches by three foot zero inches. So that is all set. Now, these accordion doors, um, there, there are, I'm sorry, not accordion doors, these bifold doors. There's no real set dimension that we're going to use. Um, but once you have it drawn, you want to use that same one, just copy it, rotate it, move it, whatever you have to do. So it's the same for the sake of consistency. So. I'm just going to go ahead and draw this in here quick. And you guys are want to. You want to take your time and measure all this out. Make sure it's exact. I'm just trying to get an opening so that we can draw these doors. We will. I like to offset six inches, um, and you'll see why we're offsetting this in a second. It's for this part of the doorway. Okay, because there's enough room that if we wanted to put molding on the inside, we definitely. All I'm doing is extending those out and we're going to trim them again. All right, so there we have our doorways. Going to temporarily just add this line in here. Now we drew a line from there to there, so we'll have a center point, and we also have somewhere to go back to. Okay, then we'll mirror it. So select the objects, we're going to mirror those. Enter, uh, mirror line. We're going to go to the triangle, that's the midpoint of the line. There, this. Done, right? So if you want to. Select those. Copy them. Rotate or revolve them. This door is going to be size, but there we go. All right, so door is done, right? Copy them, and you do the exact same thing with this regular three-foot man door, you can copy that, move it around, rotate it, mirror it to, to make it go whichever way you want to. Now, the other thing, remember, on the exterior of the house, for the back door, front door, um, if you're doing a regular door, exterior doors need that additional line right here. Okay. These are interiors, so you don't have it. 
and these are horizontal sliding windows. So remember that. Now I would go back and put the put the dimensions. If you have done dimensions, I'll I'll show you how to edit the layer. But uh, I want you to do all the dimensions and names in another layer. So we hit this little button right there for a new layer, and we can call that just dim or dimensions. Change the color just so we can see it. Color difference. Line type, you can leave it as continuous, that's fine. Double click on it so that green check moved. That's the layer we're drawing in. Now, here's what you're probably going to notice. If I go to Dimension the House, it's very difficult to see that. It's very, very small, and it listed it in inches, 520 inches, right? So it's not really what we want. And also, there's a gap here. This is supposed to be larger. Um, this distance, this extension line, this is called an extension line right here. Distance the extension line goes above that arrow, it should be a little bit larger, and these arrows need to be larger. So you can adjust all that, okay, this, by going to command prompt down here and typing in dim style, D I M S T Y L E. I'm going to modify primary units, make sure we change from primary units um, being decimal to architectural. You can go to text. And here, well, let's just try like one foot. We're probably going to have to change that, but uh, it's a good place to start. So, symbols and arrows. If, if you want to make these larger arrow size, let's try like six inches. We'll see. Okay. So, that's not a bad dimension right there. Kind of see the arrows. Okay, let's see four to four feet. Now, let's say that you drew all the dimensions already. Um, and I want I want the dimensions to look just like they do in um, in the frame. Okay, these are both stack dimensions. So here. Now to change layers, draw on a different layer. Remember, do not draw on depth points. Go back to this layer. So if we click on it, let's say that we um, max depth. Draw on this side. It's 24 feet, but it's in the wrong layer. And it's in the wrong layer. So what you do, hit escape a few times. You click on the item you want to have changed layers. You go up here, and you just click on the other layer. It's changed. Pretty simple. So if we zoom in here, this is something you're going to have to be careful with. You can, instead of clicking to the corner of the house, you could accidentally click to the extension line. Okay, so your dimension from the extension line. Don't do that. So just be aware of where you're clicking. Always use O snaps right here. Okay. So as it says right here, you can click on this to turn it on and off. Okay, or you can have F3. F3 turns it on and off as well. That's object snaps, right? You are your drawing, just in case you forgot. That's object snaps where you see the green boxes or arrows appear. All right. So add all the dimensions, add the windows, add the doors. Um, let's go over a few other things here. Now, in terms of kitchen cabinets, tubs, stoves, all this stuff. There are some standards. I just want you to draw those. Do the best you can. Okay, Do the best you can to add this stuff. Some standards you may want to know. Uh, a bathroom tub, for example, is normally 60 inches by 30 inches. Okay, Kitchen cabinets. The base cabinets, the ones that uh, are at a working height, are two feet deep. This dashed line is a hidden line. Okay, That represents the upper cabinets. The upper cabinets are one foot deep. So that's one foot deep. Base cabinet's two foot deep. Okay? Same thing over here. There's a little bit upper cabinet here. Um, and the rest of this is base cabinets. Okay? Add all that stuff in. Um, you can include this text in the dimension layer. And that should be pretty much it for this. If you guys have any questions, feel free. Um, email me. Call me. Email is probably the easiest way because I'm not always sitting right here next to the phone. But it should be simple, straightforward to finish the rest of this up. So this week, dimensions, windows, doors, all the fixtures, the tubs, uh, the sinks, the countertops, and any text that may need to be added. And make sure that you do have the two separate layers added. Okay. Uh, if you don't remember how to do layers, I did add them to Google Classroom right here in the Notes tab, how to create layers and architectural window and doors. So those are these two.
windows and doors, if you forgot, interior door, exterior door, horizontal sliding window. And then how to create layers is the other one that I added. So this is right in Google Classroom. So and that has screenshots and everything. So it should be pretty easy to walk through, follow the directions that I listed here and the screenshots. Right? So if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks.